In this video, I'm going to show you how to slap a branded label onto a Starbucks cup. Why would you need this skill? When I first worked for a beverage company called Reveal, I made some promotional content in which I 3D modeled their product, and with their own label, I was able to add it to the bottle. Branding is super important for a business, and sooner or later, you'll probably get a commission that needs a logo slapped onto it. So without further ado, let's hop into the tutorial. The first thing you're going to need to do is go to Edit, Preferences, and then add the Node Wrangler add-on uh, right here. It's super easy to add. I'm not going to show you how I made these cups, but since probably you guys want to know, I'll probably add it to the top left because uh, I'm a little bit of a simp. And now we are going to start on our materials. This is going to be a really simple material. Just go to your shader editor and then click on one of your cup pieces. Uh, with Node Wrangler installed, click on the principal BSDF, Control t and then open your Starbucks logo. Um, this is already looking pretty good, but it's not exactly what we want. Instead of repeat, we should add the clip. And what clip is going to do is just make all of the sides black slash this, in this case, transparent. And that's exactly what we want. The UVs here are actually looking pretty good, but if your UVs don't look as good as this and it's kind of like warbly, like you can see here, tab into edit mode, click A to select all the vertices, UV, and then project from view. Uh, this is going to look a little bit big, but we can fix that by going into the UV editor, find the logo that you're using, click tab, and then scale upwards. And when you scale upwards, you can see the logo kind of going exactly where you want it. Um, that is looking pretty good, if you ask me. And so when you have that, you can see that the cup is black. We don't really want the cup to be black. We want it to be the same color as the rest of the cup. So grab a, not a mix RGB, but a mix shader, and then plug in the principal BSDF to the shader on the bottom one. Um, once you do that, put this into the surface, and then put the alpha to the factor. And that is exactly what we want right there. Next, duplicate your principal BSDF by clicking Shift D, and then just sliding that to the top shader right there. And I accidentally disconnected it. And that's really all you need to put your logo on this cup. What's nice about this is it does actually stick to it. In this next technique, we're going to make this coffee cup sleeve. This can also be used for that branded label that we were talking about before. Um, but in this case, we're going to use a Starbucks cup um, sleeve thingy. Uh, I'm going to delete the one we have, and I'm going to get another cylinder. Go into front view by clicking one on your numpad, and then go into edit mode to see all of your vertices. Um, what we can do here is shrink these vertices down so they're like pretty close to the sides of the cup, and maybe make these a little bit bigger just in case we have any issues. And then what we're going to do is delete the top and bottom face, um, this one and this one. I'm gonna click delete faces, and now we have this kind of empty wrapper. We can then go into the modifiers and then add a shrink wrap and then select the coffee cup. And when you do that, you can see that this is actually sticking to the cup now. So however big or however small it is, it'll fit inside of this cup. And that is exactly what we want. However, you can see that it's kind of intersecting the geometry that we have with this cup. So I'm also going to add a solidify modifier under the shrink wrap and then turn the offset to zero. And when you do that, you can see that it's sticking out a little bit here and that is exactly what we want. I'm going to shade this smooth and I'm also going to add a little bit of a bevel uh, to the bottom just so you don't have any shading errors. And I'm going to turn the thickness a little bit up because the uh, coffee cup sleeve is going to need that. Next, we're going to go back into rendered view, and we can see that's basically where we started out before. Next thing that we're going to do is add a new material, and then go Control T, and then open up the texture once again. Um, this is what we were talking about where it's a little distorted before, so click on A, and then go to Project from View once again. Tap A to select all the vertices, and then go into the UV editor like we had open before, and then scale this upwards. You can match up the star with the first edge so you know that it's centered about right there. And that's looking really, really good. Maybe I'm going to scale this up a little bit so it matches the same proportions as the Starbucks logo. Once that is done, we're going to once again go to Clip. We're going to duplicate the principled BSDF. And then once again, add that mix shader. Combine the alpha to the factor and also combine this other principal BSDF to the side and look at that you have a beautiful coffee cup sleeve 
You can also go online and get a cardboard texture so it looks a little bit more like you would what you'd maybe see on an actual Starbucks cup. Um, I really like how this one turned out as well. I'm looking at it now and it, it looks like this is a little bit long. So I'm actually going to scale this down so it's more hand shaped and we once again messed up our UVs. So I'm going to go project from view, scale this up and line it up with the center edge like right there and there you have it you have two pretty good looking coffee cups and there you have it you can do this for a lot of different things like i also modeled this wine bottle here this wine bottle is using the same techniques for this top this top like i don't know metal thing that is usually on the top of wine bottles and also this label that you can put whatever words you want and kind of make your own branded anything that's like kind of the beauty of this technique you can do it for really any picture um fun fact this picture was actually made by my good friend grant he used the ai art to generate this i think it's going to be a great tool for a lot of artists so if you don't know anything about ai art maybe go check out like dolly or something it's, it's really really cool and that concludes the end of this youtube video we're almost at 500 followers on this channel it's i've only been making videos for like a couple weeks now i'm super excited about that so if you like the content i've been producing please consider giving me a follow and i will see you in the next video goodbye Another script done. Woo! Woo!